to create a narrative right now, I would launch a bunch of bots making up anything about Bill Gates and it'll stick. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of suspicion about Bill Gates. Yes. The the problem to me is I'm not making any statements, but the, the, the problem to me is possible that Bill Gates has actually brought more positive to the world than almost any human being who's ever lived. And it depends on the conspiracy. Let's just pause. I just want to take that in. We'll get to what he's going to say in a moment, but just the largesse of that hyperbole. Okay. Theories you believe, the amount of funding he's invested in uh, helping people in Africa, helping cure disease and malaria and so on is humongous. It's 2022. This has been debunked from every possible angle. If by helping people in Africa from malaria, he means um, rendering them paralyzed, infertile, or dead, then he's spot on. But I mean, a kindergartner with a, a laptop knows more about Bill Gates than this ridiculous statement. But yeah, that that's a ridiculous statement, and it's interesting that he says that in the same week that it actually seems like most of the mainstream media is turning on him at this point, right? Oh, yeah. they're, they're, they're dunking him. Um, but I don't know if what we just heard was a tacit admission that he launched bots to create fake news about Bill Gates to muddy the waters, right? Because that's what they always use to um, demonize conspiracy theorists is they put some bullshit out there that actually isn't true. People fall for it because it's a sexy, uh, it's one that seems really appealing. And then they use that to, to, to demonize all the other ones who are right about all the other ones, right? So did he just acknowledge that he's done that? But also, I am of the, 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 there's a lot of stuff going on with Bill Gates right now, but there was that really interesting interview clip, that the interview that happened while he was in Australia, where he acknowledged the vaccines were terrible after he divested his stocks, but made a lot of money, right? right? And that. then he showed up at the final of the Australian Open to watch Novak Djokovic, <laughs> right? Who, or Novak Djokovic, right? <laughs> Like, and, you know, he Djokovic won and gave a very interesting speech afterwards. So I don't know exactly what's going on there. But in terms of some of the um, some of the op, like I'm starting to become of the feeling that like the, he's the intentional Billy Goat put out there to hide other people who are actually doing Thanks. way more in the for you know, the person he's the person. Yes, is, yes, of course. He's the fall guy for this. He's the fall he's guy. Not, he's the fall guy. He's just funding it. He's, but yes. I think the ridiculousness of defending him with this particular person Correct. is Correct. so embarrassing. There's a little bit more. So let me just play the rest of it and then we can, we'll finish the Gates part. Okay. So uh, it just, it's sad to me that yeah. I'm not saying anything about Bill Gates, but it's sad to me if Bill Gates. If, if none of those conspiracies are true, like most of them are not true, that we're <laughs> attacking him. Most of them are not true. How does he know that most of them are not true? He's clearly done no research on Gates. He doesn't know anything about Gates, but all right, I'll just play the rest of it. And giving SBF a pass until SBF got like really screwed. And like well, this, I, think I don't the like only that. The only reason why they're attacking him was the because A, reason. he was connected to the pandemic when it came to his support of vaccinations. And then B, the so was it was everybody. Too, but but B, yeah. he had a formidable uh, investment in the in BioNTech, and that's uh, something that he dumped recently before uh, their stock plummeted. And he made a shitload of money. I think he made like like ten x on his return, something crazy like that. He made ten x on his return, and he bragged about making eighty x on just the vaccines yeah. at yes. Davos a couple yes. years ago. So. Um, I don't know what the fuck that just was. That I mean, the audacity to even try to pull that off. I mean, I give them props. They they clearly have big balls if they think that's going to work on us. Okay, so I just want to clear up real fast. Of course, he's the the fall guy, but I think I know who they're positioning him to stand in front of and that per and and block. And that is Larry Ellison of Oracle, because Oracle is all over this in a way that doesn't get anywhere near as much attention as it should. And for me, because my whole world revolves around tennis, the shift from Bill Gates being associated with Roger Federer to Bill, Bill Gates being now associated with Rafael Nadal to the point that not Rafael Nadal said, like, he conferred with Bill Gates about everything he should do during the pandemic and whatever, is to switch the relationships that I say about the tech magnets and the tennis players to, to switch that 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 connection publicly because I have Nadal paired with Ellison, who's really running the show. 
right? Um, and who's much who, who doesn't do as many public faux pas as Bill as Bill Gates does, right? But has got his fingers in all kinds of nasty little pots. Uh, uh, for sure, and I feel like you know Gates has been set up to be the fall guy since you know uh, we figured that out in 2020. But I just want to be clear, since like my first task on the documentary that shall not be named was to put together the Bill Gates dossier. Uh, his whole like antitrust criminal yes, yes. beforehand, the whole Gavi thing being thrown out of India. Yeah, you know that's how he got. That's how he got this job was to get out of his antitrust going to jail for that. They hired him to do this. Correct. Yeah. And um, so this is just absurd. Event two hundred one. I mean, Joe, shame on you. Come on. I mean, it, it's just like a little bit embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Next okay. Time. Hey, superstars. Thank you so much for sharing your sacred attention with me. If you are receiving any value whatsoever from my videos, I am encouraging you to give back, to pay it forward by supporting me on my Patreon community, on my locals community, on both. Your support allows me to keep on keeping on and to keep making content like this. It used to be much easier back in the days of a free press, but now given all of the censorship and the shadow banning, it really is challenging for content creators to continue to put out so much work. I'll just speak for myself. It's been, I'm excited for it to be easier for me to continue to put out more content and the primary way that it can be easier is by you supporting me financially by way of my Patreon and or my locals where for as little as $5 a month, you get to be my hero and receive oodles of bonus content and we both get to win. Okay, thank you so much for your support, for your attention and for being Omniscopic Amazingness. So next one. Um, and Danny, we have good news. What's good? Where I just came in informally, we got our first ever super chat. So oh! as soon as we're done with the list, we will go check out the super chat and respond to any question or comment that that came with. Thank you, Thank you Skylar, for being our first super chatter. Okay. Thank you. This is Skylar. Thank Skylar. you so much. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there is a lot of Elon butt kissing on this. Um, mm -hmm. So here's just one piece that I think is important. It's a couple seconds before. I can't get it as exact on Spotify, so... Okay. Buy it and sell it and manipulate the price? It's, it's very difficult. It's yeah. extremely, extremely difficult because of the distributed nature of it. You can fuck with it from the inside. And it's, that's why you have uh, cryptocurrency scams. You have like leaders of certain cryptocurrency yeah. communities. And that's why people are big proponents of Bitcoin because there's no head. You know, the guy right. who created it is no longer here. It's 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 much more distributed in that way. Is it's he not, no longer here? Is he amongst us? It's probably Lex. Elon Musk. Oh. Elon Musk invented Bitcoin, according to Lex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but just so you know, he said almost the same line about Bitcoin that Adam said, which will be part of our conversation in the next hour um, at the same time. So this is the new script to roll out that only Bitcoin can be trusted because there's no head and it's more distributed and more whatever, right? Okay. Um, that yeah. was it. I mean, there's nothing. I just wanted it to be clear that this this is what they're pushing. The Elon thing is big. So I'm skipping a bunch of these, but there's a lot of defending Fauci, which is odd. And even Joe defends mm -hmm. Fauci. Um, I'll tell you, I, I know I know why. But I'll tell you what, but I'll, let's build the suspense. Well, I'm skipping that clip because I don't okay. care. I'm, I'm, I'm being mindful of our time. Um, do you want to do the Fauci thing before I get into the so next I'm just going to, I think this, uh, I, I'm going to lay down the, lay it down after we get into some of the Peterson on thing on the other side. Okay, right? cool. But cool. we're shifting to a new part of the pandemic sham operation kind of thing and um, sort of finding love and forgiveness and religion is going to be part of it. And so I will be talking about that Everything. in yeah, the other, in the other segment. Yes. Religion a go-go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So this part is very important because like I said, that we cannot underestimate the importance of this Lex interview to seed and amp up a lot of their nonsense. Okay. So here's the next one. Here we go. I don't think they're mutually exclusive. 
I think evolution and monkeying with the evolution is a part of evolution. I think it's a natural course of progression for the way the human curious mind works and its ability to manipulate things around it. Whether it's manipulate environments and structures to survive the elements or whether it's manipulating electricity and frequencies to send signals and videos through the sky, whatever the fuck it's doing, it's trying to always do a, a better version of that. And I think that that manipulating genetics is a part of evolution. I think it's just a natural part of evolution. We just think of it as something. That's the basic gist. Yeah. So this, <laughs> this is, um, this is part of softening the, the Pfizer scandal as well. <laughs> oh, I didn't even, know. of course. I haven't I, seen that clip oh, till just now, so but fair. yes. I can't believe I didn't put that together. But I mean, I just did a solo podcast last week. And of course, this is a big chunk of what my new book is about, about, you know, the masculine driving culture into the fucking toilet and thinking that putting chicks on top of driving culture into the toilet is progress in the return of the divine feminine. And this is exactly that thing, that like technological driving forward at all costs, no thought about how nature actually works. No, genetic engineering it actually doesn't have anything to do with human evolution. And I would guess that Joe in his heart knows that but is being forced to, to push this nonsense? Well, I think he's try, He's playing a particular role here that, that I don't want to uh, give away the candy shop before we you know, get to it, right? But he's playing a particular role here. And this is gonna be like, and this is often the role that a comedian plays. It's like a lot of people who can't agree or get along about anything else can like laugh together, right? And so he's gonna be the great, Joe's gonna, he, Joe is going to be the master synthesizer of all of this. And it's going to be under this sort of guise of like, you know what? I'm going to like turn the other cheek. I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm going to offer the olive branch. I'm going to assume the best. I'm going to not ascribe intention to things, right? right? It's going to be all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I think some of that is just in. Oh, I thought that was a big one. Okay, so it went in front of my face on the screen, but it did not go in. I didn't see it here in my reality. I only saw it on the screen. 